I want to share something that was very, when I heard it, I was like, oh my gosh, that makes a lot of sense. So the phrase was intention is more than wishful thinking. It is willful direction. Mm, I like that. Intention is more than wishful thinking. It is willful direction. And I thought that was like, oh my gosh, that makes so much more sense. It's about aim and purpose. It's about plan a little bit of planning, but of of setting the stage for whatever we're looking for, whatever we're wanting. Mm -hmm. I when you said that, it reminds me of like I always see it as like the archer. Maybe like, you know, like the Sag, Sagittarius is like the archer, right? But it, it just reminds me of someone um, wanting to shoot an arrow, right? But you don't shoot an arrow all aimlessly. Mm-hmm. Like you do have intent. And when you, when a person is well in, you know, uh, when they know what they're doing, you know, they're not a beginner archer. Like they're, they're, they're pretty much, they know what they're doing. Like, they're trying to shoot their shot and it is intentional. So um, I really like that quote. I haven't heard that, but I, I really like that. Like, cause that's what it reminds me of. Yeah. It's about with, with purpose, right? That was one of, that's yeah. my, with purpose or intentional. I wrote, made a painting where I did little rocks and last year I had three different words. This year I have three, three other words that are what I want to focus on this year. And one of them is intentionality, but for the sake of the stone that I wrote, that I created intentionality can't fit so with with purpose is what it is and another part of with attention setting it's like laying the foundation for what you'd like to have feel and experience versus just being a passive participant going through the motions it's about like Mm -hmm. on purpose so much about that and I think that's a lot of what we are trying to do here of being more mindful about what the moon is about so that we can be able to use the power use what the different stages of the moon like so when it's in the full moon whether versus the the new moon what is that about so we can just do the things like start setting the foundation for what we're trying to achieve yeah absolutely like the intentions and you always bring that up like it's like I know but I love how you bring it up um because I don't feel like I share it enough or like I want to but I it just don't yeah. and um that is something that got me into um, connecting with the moon too, was like setting intentions, being more purposeful. Because it's like when I started learning about um, emotional wellness, emotional intelligence, even like me, I'm a very emotional person. I've always been called, you're too sensitive, blah, blah, blah. And it wasn't until I started realizing that my sensitivity was actually like my superpower. Yeah. And um really like being present with myself and present with my emotions because like when you're just like all over the place and like you're just like wow like literally like okay overly sensitive to ground you back you you need to kind of know like well what what am I feeling right now (laughs) you know Mm -hmm. so it's like yeah Yeah. and so many people just want to get out of those emotions there it's too much I can't or hearing people say you're so sensitive that could say like well fortunately you haven't gone cold and been so stoic where you don't have any emotions because that would make me sad um but I think that that we have emotions for a reason we can't avoid that if we just give it a little bit of attention you know it's just it, it is what it is it's not going to hurt us emotions don't feel great all the time but they mm-hmm. pass. it's going to be up and down it's going to be <clears throat> it's not going to be the same all the time. You're not going to be sad for 15 years straight. I mean, there's a, there's the depression part. Yeah. We have to take a look at yeah. that. But even with depression, there are moments where you might feel a little bit better and a little bit, you know, just it's not always consistent. You are happy. You might then be anxious. You might then be, but just owning it and just sitting in it, being intentional in the moment with whatever you're feeling. I think that's a part of healing. Yeah, it is. Cause like, Like you just said, intentional with, like when you're present with your feelings, right? And then you start being more intentional with um, your actions, you know, then you know, like in a way, just like with the moon too, a lot of people talk about manifestation, right? Now this can get a little woo woo, but I do feel like on the the, um, practical part, when you're present and you tap into those emotions, and then you make intentions with those emotions, things do manifest. 
Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes you can't control certain things. And then that's like kind of getting, like I say, like sometimes it's like, oh, like, oh, well, you know, Mm -hmm. but and at its simplicity, Mm -hmm. um, we do because and that's another thing, like, this is why I like chakras because we're we're tapping into our own energy and our emotions and how it plays out, how we're receiving and putting out. So yeah. presence and manifestation to me is about creativity. Yeah. I think many people over the years have talked about law of attraction, manifesting, mm-hmm. and and I think that um I'm big on uh, vision boards so big on vision boards and what I think most people struggle with is they create the vision board and they put it in a corner or they leave it in their their file folder on the computer because you can do it on the computer these days where mm-hmm. it's like, no you have to see it because it ha- if you want it to be true you have to envision it you have to see it and you have to put it into words sometimes and you have to put it out there because yeah. the universe will see it and and give it to you and I'm big on that when I wanted some things I, I had to say it if I don't Absolutely. believe I deserve something, then I don't believe I deserve it. And it's not going to happen. But if I just mm-hmm. start, like, I, I, I deserve it and it's mine, sooner or later, it's going to be. Absolutely. Because, like, you do have to believe it. Because you can say things a lot. But if you don't really believe it, then it's kind mm-hmm. of like a disconnect, you know? Yeah. And seeing it is a lot of time for us believing it, you know? <laughs> yeah. It was so funny. Last, like, two years ago, I went to a party like a dance party thing for ballroom and they were doing a give a raffle giveaway and i said that that's gonna be mine that's gonna be my that's my next one's mine guess who won me yes <laughs> and, uh, and i was like because i really believed it i said oh mm-hmm. man i'm gonna win i'm gonna win it's fine and then i was like oh my gosh but i put it out there and i truly believed it and it was the first time that it's ever happened that way i was like wow Actually, second, but I don't think I was in, I was conscious of it the first time it something like that happened. But mm-hmm. and I think that w- the, the moon helps. I I've been doing lately when you're talking about re- going back to rituals for a minute, pulling a card. I try to give my I'm still learning, right? I'm still learning, but I still feel the energy <laughs> there. I intentionally sit down and I take the cards one on the new moon, the full moon, um, all just especially in the, uh, for my birthday, I do it just so I can figure out what the year ahead is going to look like, but I intend mm-hmm. to sit down and I see, okay, I want to know what's, what's for me in terms of blah, blah, blah. What do, what is for me in the year ahead? What should I look forward to? Or, um, but I, I love cards for that reason. Um, tarot for that reason. Yeah, it, it is definitely a reflection and, um, for me, a way to like be present Mm -hmm. and um just let me know sometimes like okay what what is my subconscious saying um or how I all say like how is my higher self speaking to me um in that way or manner but Mm -hmm. um I do love cards too because they're very tangible they're they're visual I'm a very visual person Mm -hmm. Um, how I learned tarot was not with the book at first and I just was looking at them. I was like, oh, okay. And then I was like, I'm getting self-conscious. So then uh-huh. I started looking at the book. But yeah, I found my way where I feel secure about it. That's awesome. I'm I'm still learning. So I'll continue to pick your brain on that. Um, yeah, you always can. 